Extinction is natural. It's nature's way of pruning the evolutionary tree. A quiet reset, a final curtain call for creatures whose time has come. But what if it never happened? What if no species ever, no matter how weak, how ill-adapted, or how dangerous, had gone extinct? Would we be living in a richer, more diverse world, or would we be surviving in a nightmare? Today, we're exploring a shadowed alternate Earth, where extinction never existed. Let's start at the beginning. Life on Earth is about 3.8 billion years old. Since then, it's estimated that over 99% of all species have gone extinct. That's over 5 billion species gone forever. Now imagine, every one of them still alive. This would mean trilobites still scuttling across the ocean floor. Dunkleosteus, the armored 30-foot-long prehistoric fish, still hunting in the seas. Giant millipedes, the size of alligators, roaming the forests, and the Tyrannosaurus rex, still reigning over continents with its 12-inch fangs and bone-crushing bite. A world without extinction is a world without evolutionary filtering. Species don't get wiped out. Instead, they pile up, layer upon layer, year after year, era after era. Earth is not infinite. Its ecosystems operate on a delicate balance of space, energy, and resources. If every species ever born still lived, the biomass, the total mass of all organisms, would be astronomically high. Predators wouldn't just compete with their prey, they'd compete with each other across time periods. Imagine a lion fighting not just hyenas or leopards, but also saber-toothed cats, Andrusarchus, and short-faced bears, all in the same hunting grounds. The oceans would be a death trap. Modern sharks swimming alongside megalodons, mosasaurs, and giant cephalopods. There would be no room for equilibrium. Nature's balance would collapse under its own evolutionary weight. Humans evolved during a narrow window of time, roughly 300,000 years ago. Our ancestors depended on the absence of certain threats, like saber-toothed cats and massive predatory birds, to establish small, stable communities. Agriculture? Forget it. Try farming when giant ground sloths, terror birds, and packs of dire wolves are tearing through your fields. Cities? Civilization? Science? Unlikely. Our species wouldn't have reached the Bronze Age, let alone spaceflight. We'd still be hiding in caves, hunted by species far older and more adapted than us. Or more likely, we never would have emerged at all. Homo sapiens likely evolved because other hominid lines went extinct. No Neanderthal extinction, no Denisovans disappearing, no us. Extinction plays a brutal but vital role. It makes room. Without it, ecosystems become bloated, competitive, and chaotic. Every extinct species reintroduced into a modern ecosystem would either outcompete, prey upon, or parasitize existing life. Disease vectors would increase. New parasites would find novel hosts. Food chains would tangle until they snapped. And worst of all, climate feedback loops. Imagine billions of methane-producing ancient microbes still thriving. The air thick with CO2 from dinosaur-level respiration and waste. A world hurtling toward runaway greenhouse conditions 100 million years earlier. It's tempting to romanticize the idea of no extinctions, a garden of Eden teeming with life. But nature is not merciful. It is efficient, cruel, unsentimental. Extinction is not an error. It's a requirement. Without it, evolution stalls. Adaptation grinds to a halt. Disease lineages linger. Predators 
never die out. Parasites remain eternal. In a world without extinction, death does not cleanse, it accumulates. Now here's the irony, we fear extinction, especially the one we're causing right now, the sixth mass extinction, driven by human activity. We mourn the dodo, the Tasmanian tiger, the northern white rhino, and we should. But we must remember, the issue isn't extinction itself, it's the speed, the cause, and the lack of balance. Natural extinction is part of Earth's rhythm. Artificial extinction is not. We are not supposed to be the asteroid. We are not supposed to be the disease. What if no animal ever went extinct? You wouldn't be watching this video. You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't exist. Extinction makes room for new life, for change, for us. But it's a double-edged sword because now we are the edge. And the question is no longer, what if nothing went extinct? It's what happens when everything does?